Hello, Mr. and Mrs. Brookings Harbor and all the fishing boats at sea. I'm Cousin Bruce Ellis. And I'm Kat Liddell. And And this this is the Insider Insider Report. Report. So let your ears do the walking as we fill you in on what's going on in the Brookings Harbor area and beyond. beyond. Well, hello, 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 and welcome to this week's show that keeps you in the know. As you can tell, this is not Bruce. This is Kat filling in for Bruce today and writing solo on this show. Uh, Thank you so much for listening to the Insider Report. Hope you all got out there and had some fun this weekend. I know that I was a little more low-key this weekend, just uh, working in my garden, going for runs, but hey. There's a lot of cool stuff going on, and uh, we're going to be telling you all about it in just a little bit. But before we get into that, I've got a guest in the studio today. We have Scott Paul with Beacon Broadband here with us. How are you doing today, Scott? Doing great, Kat. Thank you. Yeah. Uh, Can you tell us a little bit about what you do over at Beacon Broadband? Yeah, I'm the customer service director. I handle all of our billing installation, customer service. Um, if If it touches a customer, it touches my team. So. Um, I wish I could say I did it, but it's a team effort to to do what we're doing over here at Beacon Broadband. Awesome. All right. Well, you guys have been very, very busy uh, lately over having a very busy summer. I know you had some some early summer celebrations, and we've got a few questions for you here. Um, so we've heard that Beacon Broadband is turning on a whole lot of new homes and businesses in the area. Can you give people an idea of where the Internet's getting turned on right now? Yeah, we've got about a week left of construction to turn on what we call our Brookings A feeder. Uh, Brookings A feeds the entire west side of Brookings from basically Center Street all the way out to East Harris Heights if you're driving on 101. Um, and then it includes you know, the high school area up on uh, Ransom, uh, Hassett, and then out near the airport. So it's a pretty good size area, 2,200 plus homes. Uh, they're currently Coos Curry Electric members. And we're excited to help them become Beacon Broadband customers. All right. Well, Scott, you're in charge of customer service and installations. I asked you a little bit about what that involves as far as customer service for your customers. Yeah, I think the biggest thing that mm-hmm. our you know customers can see is that we're local for them. Um, we're here to take care of them, not only over the phone, but in our office. So we've had multiple walk-ins come in. A lot of customers call in, they're just, they're just shocked that we're just, we have a local presence. We're in the old Jekyll Federal Credit Union building over in Harbor. Um, but my team handles the, you know, from the second you place your order uh, to the second we have your install scheduled and to the support afterwards, my team handles all pieces of that. So um, we're just happy to be in the community here to service it. As we move further north, we'll expand our, our presence uh, throughout probably Gold Beach, Port Orford, and even Coquille. So as we expand, my team will expand, and we'll make sure we have a local presence for everybody. Wonderful. All right. And I hear that you're teaming up with the Brookings Harbor Chamber of Commerce and Coos Curry Electric to have a broadband business expo coming up. When is it, and who is invited? Yeah, no, any business in, in Brookings Harbor, um, all the way up north. I mean, come on, visit us. Uh, uh, we're excited to have the first ever business expo. It's next Monday, September 18th. Starts at 5.30, goes to 7.30 at the Elks Lodge there, just uh, right up the way. Um, we will have a few keynote speakers. We're going to have uh, John Herzog, Curry County Commissioner. Uh, we'll have Henry Johnson, the store manager at Fred Meyer. You know, it's a big impactful players in the community that, that understand the importance of communication. Um, we'll be talking about multiple key things for businesses as far as, you know, uh, static IP addresses or ATAs, analog telephone adapters, VoIP services, uh, keeping your customers' data secure, um, keeping records more more abundant and uh, unsaved. Uh, and then the last one, obviously, anytime businesses get together, it's a great opportunity to network with your business partners as you go. So we're excited for this first ever business expo, but it's going to be a hoot next Monday. Come on out, 5.30 to 7.30. Right. Celebrating communications technology. I like it. That's I it. like it as we're, <laughs> as we're getting out over the airwaves here. Well, uh, Scott, is there anything else that you'd like to add to the internet report? Nope. I think that's what uh, Bill wanted me to chat with you. I'm sorry that you're running solo today, but uh, thanks for having us, Scott. Hey, I truly thanks. appreciate it. Thank you so much for being here today, Scott. You have a great day. You too. All righty. So it was nice to have Scott here filling in for Bill to give us the internet report from Beacon Broadband. And hey, before we get started here, the Insider Report would like to thank Trike City Dispensary and the Oregon South Coast Fishermen, a.k.a. the Castaways, 
Just the Jeweler and Oregon Coast VIP Marketing for sponsoring the Insider Report. And if you want to sponsor any of the awesome shows that are happening on KCIW, you can just go to KCIW.org and contact them. And before we get going here, we're going to get into the music schedule. So here's what's coming up in September. First off, it's Banjo Steve and Tiger Lily Mrar playing Wednesdays at Latitude 42 from 4 to 6 p.m. And then Cisco and Daltrey are playing on the 13th and the 27th at the Checo Activity Center. Music there runs from 11 a.m. to about 1.30. And then on the 16th, they're going to be at the Star of the Sea Church Picnic. That's happening from 11 a.m. to 3 p.m. And then the Tony Land Band is playing on the 16th at Kuntai, music running from 6 to 8. And then on the 24th, Stage Lights 70 Showcase at the Checo Grange. They'll be playing at 2.30. And then we've got some times here for Black GTO. They're playing on the 29th and 30th at Elk Valley Casino. Music starts at 7.30 p.m. Disturbing the Peace is playing on the 23rd at Checo Brewing. Music there starts at 6.00. And then we have some events happening at the Elk Valley Casino, first off at the Betty Green Event Center. On the 16th, it's going to be Alien Ant Farm playing with opening band Snickle Fritz. That concert will start at 7 o'clock. And then at the Warriors Bar and Grill, they've got music happening at 7.30 p.m. On the 15th and 16th, it's Jesse Mead. On the 22nd and 23rd, it's Steve Nelson. And then on the 29th and the 30th, it's going to be Black GTO. And then Ranch Party is playing on the 24th at the Checo Grange. And then they're going to be doing Danielle and Mark Fabulous 70s Tribute at 2.30. And then Chris Capitano has some music going on on Fridays. They're playing at Zola's on the Water from 5.30 to 8.30. On Sundays, they're going to be at Tortuga Mexican Restaurant up in Gold Beach with Green Trees playing from 4 to 7. They're expanding. On Mondays, they're going to be at Zola's on the Water again from 6 to 9 p.m. And we've got some music here from Mike Powell. He's playing on the 15th at Checo Brewing from 6 to 8. And then the Italian guys are playing on the 15th at Kuntai at 6 p.m. On the 16th, they'll be at Tortuga Mexican Restaurant. Music there starts also at 6. And then finally, Steve Nelson is playing on the 21st at Schmidt's House of Jambalaya. Music running from 6 to 8 p.m. And then on the 22nd and 23rd, he'll be at Elk Valley Casino from 7.30 to 10.30. Getting a little late there. And then on the 29th, he'll be at Brookings Elks Lodge, running from 7 to 9 p.m. All right, that's the music for September. Let's get into some events happening at the Checo Community Public Library, located at 405 Alder Street in Brookings. So on Friday, September 15th, they're going to have their tea and haiku workshop. That's going to be in the forest room at 2.30. You can relax with a cup of Japanese tea and learn the art of writing haiku poetry. And then following that poetry theme on Friday, September 22nd, they're having their Fall Poetry Slam. This is also going to be in the Forest Room from 3.30 to 5 p.m. Sign-ups will start at 3.30. The slam itself starts at 4. And all performers who sign up, they have a chance to win a door prize. And then on Saturday, September 23rd, they've got their Fall Carnival happening in the library rear parking lot from 11 a.m. to 3 p.m. This year's carnival theme is Adventure Starts Here. You can indulge in some snacks, play classic carnival games run by storybook characters, and win special prizes by signing up for a library card or making sure that your account is up to date. And if you have any questions about library programs, events, or services, you can always go to checkcolibrary.org and check out their events calendar. You can follow them for updates on Facebook. Or again, you can visit them at the library at 405 Alder Street in Brookings. And hey, it is just a month filled with poetry. Four Castle Books is going to be presenting a poetry reading with Billy Ruth Futurici. That's going to be on the 14th of September at 6.30. Billy Ruth Hopkins Futurici is a poet, songwriter, silk artist, and Spanish teacher who lives in Brookings. In 1985, she developed the Transformation Wheel and has facilitated original workshops in Maui, Moscow, Santa Cruz, Denver, Coeur d'Alene, and Brookings as Angelita Transformation Training. For information about this event, you can contact Michael Spring at 541-450-1115. And hey, Scott was saying the first annual Broadband Business Expo is going to be happening with Coos Curry Electric, Beacon Broadband, and the Brookings Harbor Chamber of Commerce. 
This is going to happen at the Brickings Elks Lodge from 5.30 to 7.30 on the 18th of September. Join them as they network with local Curry County businesses and dive into a robust discussion of broadband internet and how this technology will help shape the future of business applications, create new service offerings, optimize our interactions with customers, and secure our business platforms. There's going to be food and beverages provided, prizes from local Curry County businesses, free goodie bags, timely business topics such as understanding technology for your business needs, smart and easy ways to get the most out of your internet for your business and employees, and future-proofing your business, if it's connected, it's protected, and optimizing employee productivity through fiber connectivity. And they're going to have some special guest speakers, including Henry Johnson, the store manager of Fred Myers, an active member of Fred Myers and Kroger's management team since 1999, as well as John Herzog, Curry County Commissioner and board member for Beacon Broadband and Coos Curry Electric Cooperative. And hey, we've got a play coming up here. The Checo Pelican players are presenting Arsenic and Old Lace by Joseph Kesselring. That's a classic there. At the Checo Playhouse located at 1240 Checo Avenue. That's going to be running from September 22nd through the 8th of October. Their show times are Fridays and Saturdays at 7.30 p.m. And then Sunday matinees at 2 p.m. You can get tickets at checkcopp.booktix.com. Or you can call for reservations at 541-469-1857. Tickets are $15 for adults, $7 for students. You're cordially invited to the home of Abby and Martha Brewster for a lovely evening and glass of elderberry wine. Come watch as Mortimer Brewster proposes to the girl next door, only to discover a dead body in his aunt's home. Sprinkle in a psychotic brother and a drunken plastic surgeon, and you're guaranteed a time you won't soon forget. All right, and Insider Events is going to be presenting the Doctoberfest happening at the Port of Brookings Harbor. That's going to be on the 23rd of September from 10 to 8 p.m. And then on the 24th from 10 to 5, celebrating Oktoberfest with vendors, live music, four breweries, Four. <laughs> They're going to have food, beer fest games, cornhole, and more. And Lucky Seven Casino is presenting a karaoke night happening on the 22nd. It's going to be running from 8 p.m. to midnight. You're invited to Lucky Seven Casino's Club Seven Sports Bar for a karaoke night. Join them and bring your friends, they say, for drink specials, belt and tunes, and fun, fun, fun. And then the fourth annual B Youth Paint Wars are happening. At Brookings Church of the Nazarene, this is going to be on the 23rd of September from 1 to 3. This fall, on Saturday, September 23rd from 1 to 3, they're hosting their fourth annual Paint Wars event for teens in grades 6 through 12. The cost is $15 a person. Invite your friends and parents are welcome to join as well. This is a community event. You can invite your friends or build an entire team. Students who register by September 19th are going to get a t-shirt. The registration deadline is September 19th. For questions, contact Pastor Mendy at mendy at brookingsnaz.org. All right, nice to see events for teens happening there. And Stage Lights is presenting a Back to the 70s Showcase. This is going to be at the Checo Grange in Harbor, and it's going to be on the 24th of September. It opens at 2 o'clock. The show starts at 2.20. It's going to feature Robert Richter, Tony Land, and Larry Fries. Greg Russell, Janessa Lee, Danny Zimmerman, Troy Alvarado, and Rin Lennon. Drawings are going to be held for fun and nostalgic items. Drawing tickets are a buck each, or six for five dollars, or twelve for ten. And Monarch Gardens is presenting a Jog Your Memory Color Run. This is going to be happening at Azalea Park in Brookings on the 30th of September from 10 a.m. to 3 p.m. So this is going to start and end at Azalea Park. The course is about one mile long. And this fundraiser, fun run event, is designed to raise awareness to Alzheimer's and raise donations for the National Alzheimer's Association to help fund research in finding a cure. There will be vendors, live music, beer garden, food, and more. And registration opens at 10 a.m. The color run itself starts at noon. For information, you can contact Sarah Dodson at 541 251-8010, and that's $30 to register, and if you register, you'll get a shirt. And hey, Meals on Wheels is looking for volunteers right now. They need particularly of volunteer drivers 
They deliver about 75 hot meals daily to homebound residents who can't get to the Checo Activity Center for the daily meals that are served there. They have both a harbor route and a Brookings route. This is a perfect opportunity for anyone out there who wants to give back to the community and be a friendly face to deliver a hot meal and a little kindness to local homebound residents. Whether you're interested in doing a day, a week, or a month, all volunteers are welcome. And if you want to help out, you can contact Debbie at 714-423-9797. And we've got a very important PSA here from the Brookings Harbor Boy Scouts of America. They're currently looking for new troop members. Boys and girls are invited. Troop 32 is one of Oregon's oldest scout troops with a long history in the community. Formed prior to World War II, the troop produced its first Eagle Scout in 1947 and as of today has helped a total of 44 scouts attain this prestigious rank. Troop 4032 is Brookings' first female scout troop. Founded in 2019 following the transition from the Boy Scouts of America to Scouts BSA, allowing girls to join and participate in scouting for the first time in its history. Troop 32 and Troop 4032 are now accepting new scouts as well as adults who are interested in volunteering. Scouts are able to join the troops from 5th grade to age 17. Adults are able to volunteer as long as they are over 21 years old, are able to pass a background check, and willing to spend about an hour and a half completing a youth protection training course. They meet at Scout Hall, 7 to 8.30 p.m. every Monday night except holidays. Come meet the troops and learn more about what the scouts can help you achieve. Scout Hall is located at 414 Azalea Park Road in Brookings. And if you need to get in touch with them, the Troop 32 Scoutmaster is Mark Hagland. He can be reached at 541-661-2749. And Troop 4032 Scoutmaster is Rebecca Wilson. She can be reached at 707-951-3647. And hey, still going on, game nights are happening regularly at the Whimsical Griffin. It's located at 615 Checo Avenue by the Redwood Theater. And they're happening Tuesdays and Fridays from 5 to 9 p.m. Four hours of games, including Magic the Gathering, Dungeons and Dragons, and of course, an assortment of board games. And now we're getting into our gallery artists coming up for the month of September. So first, the Brian Scott Gallery's monthly artist, they're proud to present Artist of the Month, Brian Gibbons. Brian began drawing with pencil and ink pen at an early age, inspired by comic book and fantasy artists of the day. Brian also creates underwater paintings of ocean flora and fauna and sea creatures and wood and mixed media pieces depicting neighborhood scenes from an era gone by. Brian's work is displayed on an ongoing basis at the gallery, For more information about the galleries, you can visit brianscottgallery.com or call 541-412-8687. The gallery is open Wednesday through Saturday, 11 a.m. to 4 p.m. And then we've got some information here about the Fog and Fine Art Gallery, located in Wright's Custom Framing and Art Supply, 810 Checo Avenue in Brookings. The gallery features 36 local artists in a variety of mediums, a classroom to inspire new and seasoned artists with workshops. Stop by and enjoy all that's new in the gallery, open from 10 a.m. to 5 p.m., Monday through Friday, and then 10 a.m. to 3 p.m. on Saturdays. For more information on class offerings, painting demonstrations, and artists, you can call 541-469-7900, or you can visit them on Facebook. They're at Wright's Custom Framing. And then we have an exhibit here called Safekeeping. The Art of Val Polyannon. This is happening during first Fridays through October of 2023 from 5 to 7.30 p.m. The public's invited to view the art of Val Polyannon. Polyannon recently donated his collection of 900 pieces of art to the city of Crescent City when he was no longer able to house the work himself. The collection demonstrates a wide range of artistic ability and includes painting, sculpture, assemblage, and more created from an array of materials in sizes ranging from 2 to 10 feet tall. The work on view was created between 1988 and 2023, and much of it was displayed in Pollyannon's art gallery and exhibited along U.S. Highway 101 until 2022. The temporary exhibit is located at 248th Street in Crescent City. For more information about the artist, you can visit vpart.org. And then there's Walking Down, a fine line art exhibit happening, and it's part of Danaka's Art in Public Places program. 
They're presenting a solo art exhibit by artist Marsha Morgan. The exhibit features watercolor paintings of a wide variety of subjects and includes poetry as well. The exhibit will be displayed now through September 28th. It's going to be on the second floor mezzanine of the Crescent City Airport. They're located at 1650 Dale Rupert Road in Crescent City. This exhibit is free to view and can be viewed during the airport's terminal hours. That's 6 a.m. to 8 p.m. on weekdays, 6 to 10 a.m. and 5 to 8 p.m. on Saturdays, and 6 a.m. to 2 p.m. and 5 to 8 p.m. on Sundays. And for more information about that, and maybe to double-check that schedule there, you can visit denaka.net. And then the Brookings MS Self-Help Support Group is meeting regularly. It features conversation and support for people living with MS, that's multiple sclerosis. You can join others living with MS to talk, share experiences of successfully living and coping daily with MS. You can share information and resources in a positive atmosphere. Topics will focus on areas of interest to the group members. This group is for people with MS, as well as family, friends, and caregivers. They do ask that you reach out prior to attending. You can send an email to AudreyMS18 at AOL.com, or you can find them on Facebook. Their group is called MS Walk and Rollers. Meetings happen on the second Tuesday of every month. It happens at 11 a.m. at the Checo Community Public Library's Annex Building. That's the little house across the street from the main library. Its address is 402 Alder Street in Brookings. And then the Bereaved Parents Northwest Coast has monthly grief meetings. They are an organization for parents who have suffered the death of their child who has died at any age and from any cause. They meet on the first Tuesday of every month from 6.30 to 8.30 p.m. That happens at the Brookings Event Center. That's located at 800 Checo Avenue, Unit B in Brookings. For information about the group, you can call Chris Harris at 541-251-2191, or you can contact Michelle Tidwell at 541-251-1202. And we have some time to talk about the community kitchen schedule, another reminder of the community kitchens that are active throughout the city of Brookings every single day of the week. On Mondays at St. Timothy's, they have an 11 a.m. to 12 p.m. brunch. And then on Tuesdays, St. Timothy's hosts a lunch from noon to one. On Wednesdays, Star of the Sea Catholic Church hosts at noon. On Thursdays, it's the Presbyterian Church hosting at noon. On Fridays, it's the Lutheran Church hosting at noon. And then on the first, third, and fifth Saturdays of the month, St. Timothy's hosts from noon to one. And then on the second and fourth Saturdays, it's at the Church of the Nazarene on the north end of town from noon to one. And finally, on Sundays, St. Timothy's hosts an early dinner from 3 to 4 p.m. And you can also find and check out the Community Kitchen schedule. It's on kciw.org in the community section of the website. All right, well, that's it. We have got no more for you, but that is a packed and fun September. It's becoming quite a busy month, not just for those summer events, but for September as well. So it's time to close out this week's show. But before we go, I'd like to give a shout out to our fearless producer, Brother Tom, for all his great work, as Bruce says, making us look and sound good on the radio. And I want to thank you all for tuning into this week's Insider Report. Please make sure to tune in on a daily basis to KCIW 100.7 FM and listen to all the fine shows they have to offer. You can listen to all the fantastic show podcasts, including the Insider Report at KCIW.org. And hey, while you're there, you can check out the live streaming that's happening as well. Until next week, this is Kat Liddell signing off. Keep it real and spread the love and peace every chance you get. And hey, we'll see you out there. Bam!
For music credits for the preceding show, go to kciw.org slash credits.